Hey y'all, it's Nani. Um, happy Friday. So, um, well, happy Friday. Um, I am so tired. I have been working that festival hard for the last 24 hours, and this is the only 24 hours I'm going to do that. Um, so I wanted to just kind of say a few things about this 750 gold coins. You can see on this account, I have exactly six. I'm not doing it on here this year. Um, I think I am going to get it on my main account. I want to kind of explain how I'm going to do that. Um, the comment I have most seen is it's literally impossible for anybody that doesn't spend money. Well, that's not true. I have not spent a dime. What I have spent is an extreme amount of time and energy for the last 24 hours not leaving my computer. So that is exhausting. And, um... It really sucks. I'm going to be honest. Um, if you're not spending, that's what it's going to be for like at least half the duration of this festival. Okay, let me kind of... I want to just let you know where some coins are coming from. And some tips and a, a super tip from a fellow islander, um, Bess Fulmer Henry. Henry um, let me just show you this. Okay, so this is 750 coins for this thing. So, assuming you can't get into the competition, where, where, where are they coming from? Well, here, and it's a measly three, but any little thing helps. Okay, so that's one place. Next are the pop-up quests. Um, you do get quite a lot from the pop-up quests. So if my math is correct, and, and, and believe me when I tell you my math sucks, but I think this one, this one, and this one is 40, plus 15 for that. Um, and this is the one where you have to feed the large tea table. So I, I'm going to be honest. You're not going to get it without a whole lot of work if you're not spending money, and most people are not, and I am not, and I'm tired literally from what I got, and I'll show you what I've got for the past 24 hours. Okay, so um, this is this requires opening the entire island, um, which took about 12 to 13K, but gave you a lot to work with on the festival island. So of all of them, this is the one I found most helpful for working the festival. Okay, there's that. And then now the high tea party, which is the tea table. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, that's the guy's face. Okay, see, I am so tired. The guys, um, this is the large, large table where you have to feed the judges. So now part one of four did not give any blue coins, but part two, three, and four did give coins. And there's 40 coins there. Plus this 15, so that's 55 right there. But it's a lot of work. I just reached this one right here after 24 hours. So I'm just starting to chip away um, now at this one. Okay. <clears throat> this is the um, other one. That's the, the smaller tables, the real small table and the medium table right here. Um, so this, again, is another 40. So that's 80 plus 15. What is that? 95? 95 for completing the quest. What I think is that if, if, if you are able to complete these quests, then you are able to actually get to that 750. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. But um, this is another 40. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, so this table right here, you have to have four each of these things that are cooked in the kitchen right here. This is this is the Beth Fulmer Henry tip. So that's these here. Four each of these to set that table. And then once you set that table, then you have to get the judges to... The, the judges, okay, and I'm so sorry, I'm tired. I literally have been like up, up, up working. Here, let me show you. Here I am. 
at 76, I actually got into the competition without spending a dime right here. So, but I was literally up all night and all day and all day yesterday doing these tea tables. So, um, once you set this table with four each of these things, then the, the three judges are going to pop up and you have to feed each of them and keep them in gold, the gold chest right here. Um, you will get a gold key from each one that you can keep in the green. And to keep it in the green, you have to feed it tea. So what I've been doing is five of this one, five of this one, and five of this one. And that, that's the tactic I took with that. Um, five, five, and five. So I have been constantly crafting this tea, constantly crafting these two teas. And then every four hours, every four hours, I can come up here and set this table and do those three judges up to gold, up to get the gold key, which you have to keep it in green. And that will be 12 points, 12 points or 12 blue coins, 12 of these. So according to Beth and her math, which I verified also with Sue, because I don't do math. Um, doing this table three times a day for the duration of the festival, which is a whole hell of a lot of work, you can get that pet. Um, I'm going to say it's not going to take the entire duration of the festival because of these quests up here, at least this one. Um, you'll at least get the judge coins. Um, so... My other comments are, all right, hang on. Okay, my other comments are, um, I would say, okay, using the merchant on your home island would be like a huge help, but um, you would have to get to some of these areas, at least these pomegranate trees. These pomegranate trees, here, I'm going to click these. I have found opening the island really, really helpful, but I am still using my merchant to keep up with my with supplies needed. So that's five hours for that pomegranate tree. You really would have to be able to clear this island or at least get to some of these other areas, including some of these other kitchens. I'm going to zoom all the way out. All right. So here's a kitchen back here, and I've posted my maps in other videos. There's a kitchen right here, there's one right there, one over here, did I get them all? One, two, three, four, five. And I have had all five working constantly for the past 24 hours to get into that comp. Okay, so I kind of just contradicted myself. That was to get into the comp, and I'm not going to do that again because that was literally I'm exhausted, and that was just way too much work. Um, according to the math done by others, you only need to do this table right here three times a day to actually be able to get that pet. So... I haven't tried that, and I went and got the comp, or got into the comp, and you can see I've got 194 from what I've done so far. Um, I am going to stay in that comp if it kills me, so that'll be another 50. But after that, I'm just going to go with working just this large table. I'm, I'm just, um, she said she opened, I think, two pomegranate trees, and there's one here, and you guys can check my map. Um, there's, and she's using her merchant on her own island, um, like religiously, that merchant, every three hours or two and a half hours. Here's a pomegranate up here. There are six on this entire island. There's one over here, one there, and then two in the front. Um, the other thing I ran out of is hibiscus, and those gifts that they're giving on the island really, really helped with hibiscus and a lot of other things. Um, my point is a lot of, 
Oh, and don't forget your fishing holes. I forgot. I need to fish. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get through this night, really, and then I am going to take a break. You guys are not going to hear from me for like a day or two. Um, <coughs> getting into... Okay, dogs. Okay, dogs. This is the other thing. It's constant. It's constant. The best deal is to do the three-minute one, so you have to sit here. I mean, literally sit here. Um, you can do it. But it does take an awful lot of work. Don't even attempt to get it into the top 10 unless you're going to spend money. You can see I've got my pop-ups here. There they are. They are pricey. I'm not buying them. I'm doing it I'm doing it the, uh, the hard way, which I always do. I don't spend any money except for on my um, fountain, the cornucopia fountain. That I buy every month. But other than that, I don't really spend any money. So... Um, I'm doing it the hard way. It's a lot of work. I think getting into this comp once is giving me a buffer. But after that, I wish I had one of these tables to show you. This has got two hours left on it. Um, I'm just kind of sitting here making tea. Um, also, look, I'm about to run out of pineapple and mango. I need to bring some more over. It does take a lot of supplies. Um, I am certain... Okay, white, green, pink, white, and I'm going in order of green. So, um, I've used a couple hundred each of these things in here to get to get into that comp. You don't necessarily have to do that if you're not going to get into the comp. Just do, I mean, do the math, okay? Do the math. I can't do it for you. So, because I don't do math. So, five of that plus five of each of these, three times a day, plus this three times a day, right here. And according to others, that should be enough to work this table right here and get you to that pet. I've not tested that. Um, I really can't now because I'm getting into the comp. I got into the comp at least this time. The math sounds right to me. It sounded right to some of the other admins in my group. But that is going to require you doing quite a lot of work and tending this three times a day. And it's going to require a lot of supplies. So you, you have to have... Just in the past 24 hours, I've used a couple hundred here. Um, but that's working all tables. It's going to be a lot less than that if you're not working all tables. I've been working all tables. So, um, anyway, let me get this back up right here. So, clearing the island, you get 15 plus a ton of supplies. If you can't do that, make sure to be using your merchant. Um, at least you have to open a couple of places with hibiscus tree and the pomegranate. You have to. I mean, you, you just can't do it without that. All right. Um, working those judge tables, if you're doing just that table, you're going to hit these at some point. And then um, if you're able to do those smaller tables, these are also available. But if you just want to try that other thing, then um, at least you can get these 40 right here and um, know that if you do three tables a day, you should be able to acquire that pet and not spending a dime. It, you are going to spend your time. There is no absolutely no way around spending a significant amount of your time. So, okay, there's that. Wanted to just share that with you guys. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of complaining. Well, it's not fair. It's not fair. We're, well, you know, those people that spend, 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 they're, they're like feeding the developer's children. You know, putting food on the table, keeping this game running, um, that kind of thing. So I kind of was talking to my admins too, and we were... We were all saying that, you know, even not killing ourselves, getting some of these and then letting them sit in storage until next year and then maybe try to pull it out next year. Try to get it next year. Um, 
So that's where I'm at right now. I think I'm going to be able to get it because I actually did get into that competition, which is kind of astonishing. I, I never do that because it's so stressful. Um, but, you know, if you have the supplies, and this, again, I'm going to say this too. The people that have been playing a lot longer, I've been playing for over six years. A lot of people have been playing for a really, really long time. They're going to have a lot, of, a lot more supplies in their storage, a lot more fruit you know, in their storage and things that they need. So it may, that part may seem unfair to some of you that have just started, but that, that is not unfair. That is literally, I have been playing for six and a half years and I should have more stuff in storage than a new person. And it should be easier for people that have been playing for five or six years than it is for people that just started. I mean, that that's just a given. We, We've been doing this a long, long, long time and how long longer to, you know, stock up on things. So that's part of it too. Um, but I'm not above just getting what I can get and uh, wait until next year and finish up next year. So I may let this pet pass. I may not. I may, I may be able to do it. I may not. It kind of depends. I mean, like literally like today, my son is... Um, having a conniption because he needs to get a tuxedo to match his girl's dress for prom. And I mean, I may not be able to sit here and fill tea tables. So I, I may not get it this year. <laughs> I mean, life happens. So, um, you know, you'll just get it next time. Get what you can get. Try not to stress yourself out. Like I have totally stressed myself out over the past 24 hours. And after this, I am just going to chill. And if I get it, I get it. If I don't, then those coins are going to sit there and I am going to have a head start next year. So that's how I'm looking at it. Okay, you guys, thank you for listening to my um, completely, totally exhausted rant. Um, and um, <laughs> I'll try to find something else to talk about tomorrow. But if not, you know, I'll see you in a couple of days after I've slept. All right, you guys, it is a Friday. Have a super Friday. Um, enjoy the spring weather coming. And please don't forget to like and share and follow my channel. All right, you guys. Um, have a great weekend. Thank you so much.